Hello friends and welcome back to more Night in the Woods. I'm so excited, we're at the party and stuff goes down, so let's go. <sighs> Ugh, that was awful. I hate beer. I can't remember the last time I drank beer. Also, uh, I do not condone underage drinking. Um, where I'm at, the drinking age is 21, so uh, don't do that. She's technically 20. It's not a delicious drink at all. Okay. So we can talk to B. What? Nothing. Okay. So there's some people in the background. Oh gosh, it's... Uh... And then there's some singing here, I think? No? You can just sit at the fire, I guess. Uh, and then Greg and Angus. Hey dudes! Yo, did you see Cole's here? Oh gosh. You okay? Yeah, totally fine. You gonna talk to him? Uh... Yeah, sure. Yeah, man! You sure, May? Yeah, I mean, why should I be weird about it? Well, I mean, you did write that song afterwards. What was it called? Go Get Dead, Angel Face? Uh, we don't talk about go get dead angel face. Uh, can you guys believe, ugh, can you guys believe this dude playing guitar? Yep, playing the douchebag hits. I like this song. Is this the douchebag song? Nah, don't worry, big guy. Oh boy. Is there anything else? Ah, uh, yes. There's a douchebag like this at every party. You have no idea, Greg. Back in school, you'd always have some frat boy hanging out on the lawn, trying to look all sensitive. Why is this a douchebag song? <laughs> poor Angus. Oh, poor Angus. Okay. So, I think we can sit there still. So, okay. So, I think this is Cole. Oh gosh, it's... Uh, maybe I need another, ugh, another drink. Uh, and there's not really anything... Cool party! Yep. You can do... You are forced to just keep going. <sighs> I guess beer is just one of those horrible things adults do. Like doing taxes and having babies. That's a mood. And then I don't think we can talk to him yet. Or yeah? Hey! May, is that you? Wow, how are you? Well, earlier this week I dropped out of school, and now I'm drinking in the woods. Wow, okay. What the heck is your problem? What? Be cool, May. Go get a drink and be cool. Let's see if there's anything else to say here. Ah! How to go? Ah! <laughs> Ugh. You okay? Sometimes I think that people just don't like me. Aw, oh, dude. That sucks. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't be so down on yourself. Yeah, who cares if people don't like you? Okay, that's not what I... <laughs> Screw everyone, me's the best! Yeah, buddy. Shut up, douchebag! <laughs> what? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, did you guys hear something? Like what? Something in the woods over there. Oh yeah, two people are making out on the rock behind us. That can't be very comfortable. Who needs comfort when you have makeouts? But preferably you have both. It ain't a perfect world, Angus. Good. And I don't think we can actually go that way. So, anything else? They really are going at it up there. And they sure are. You guys wanna, I don't know, stand somewhere else? Nah, dude. Why should we move? They're the indecent ones. We are gentlemen. Alright. Alright. I think you can still just stand here. Nothing else. See if she has anything else to say. Yo! What? You're kind of grouchy. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Rude. Oh boy. Then I don't think we can talk to him yet. Because go get a drink would be cool. So there's just a lot of different text that you can get here. It's kind of neat, but 
Oh, uh, screw, I'm doing two beers. I'm doing beer. I still taste tacos. Okay? What? Nothing. Okay, you got anything? Hey, B. Yeah? Oh gosh, you're drunk. Already. That's why we came out here, right? Not really, I have to drive. And even if I didn't. Well, I don't have my license. So woohoo for me! Uh, okay, let's see what else they have to say. Hey, Greg! Whoa, dude, are you okay? Hey, Greg, did you know that I think you and Angie... Uh, Angie? Are so cute! I did know that, dude. Well, good. Hey, Angie, my dad knows your dad. They used to work back together back in the 80s. Okay. He used to hang out at the bar with your da Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Dude. Don't ever say daddy again. Psst. What? My dad had to stop drinking because he was a danger to me and my mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Dude. Okay, mate, you're not allowed to drink anymore. Ever. Ooh. Ugh, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, uh, not yet? Anything else? Okay, May, I'm a little worried about you. Well, I'm having a great time in the woods and- Ugh, okay? Sure, I'll just stumble over to you. <laughs> Greg, don't you think May should maybe sit down? Yeah, dude, you should sit. Can I actually sit now? Does that change things? Oh, it did. Hey, May. Hey, Coolio. Wow, haven't heard that in forever. It's been like three years. That's not long at all. Well, it was good to see you. I'm just back for a couple days from school and... Shut up already. What? The girl at the video store is all like, Woo woo, cute boys. And you're a cute boy, Cole. Oh, thanks, May. I... But I hate cute people. Q is the worst. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. And it's not my fault I'm total a trash fire. I got nightmare eyes. And the last thing you see is my eyes outside the window. And then I stab you with my knife. Stab, stab, stab! Boom, dead. When the police get there, you're all... Nightmare eyes. New nickname. So don't F with me, kid. Okay, May, you're threatening people now. May, I think you need to... F everyone, May's the best. I agree, but maybe you should pace yourself. I'm never driving any of you anywhere again. F college. Yeah. All those rich kids and hot people. All writing sex and having papers with each other. <laughs> Good. Close enough. And that dang statue pointing at me every day. Supposed to be the founder, but just shapes. I... I'm a total trash mammal. And nothing is ever going to work out. We never had a chance here, but I can't go anywhere else. I'm home again. And I can do something besides sleep. And cry alone. Or... Because things aren't just things here, you know? Oh gosh. I'm so... Sick. To... Death. Does that make sense, Coleo? May, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I think you're a really great... Home again! Woo! Wag! Tacos. Hmm. There's a big theme in this game of nightmare eyes and shapes. And it's really interesting because it's like those are themes that as you're playing through you won't realize the significance because even before when she was in the mirror one of the options was I have nightmare eyes. So there's definitely something still going on. If you puke in this car, so help me. Uh, 
I mean, I owe you an apology, B. I'm sorry I don't even know what happened. I forgot she's still very drunk. You got sloppy drunk after the after what? Three cups of water down beer. I mean Remember when we used to be best friends? We used to be best friends, B, and I still love you, B. <laughs> I didn't get a word of that. Remember you used to call me Mayday. And I called you BB. Oh, you mean when we were like 10? No, I don't. Remember when we were scouts together? <laughs> and we got that turtle. Yeah, Boxy the turtle. He died. <laughs> um. I feel like you're mad at me all the time. Why are you so mad all the time? Herp. Oh man, if I puke in here, your parents are gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> Tell your mom I'm sorry, okay? She's so nice. <sighs> Freaking May. What? My mother is dead. What? She died. Of cancer. Senior year. Oh no, she was so nice. Baby, are you okay? How do you not know this? Did you forget about my dead mom? I mean, shoot, cuz... How does she not know this? <sighs> I'm mortified by maybe oh, yeah, I'm acting like a jerk. Are you mad at me? What happened to you? You used to be smart. You used to be cool. You used to be worth talking to. <sighs> Why did you even come back? Oh, did college not work out for you? Was it inconvenient? Were you not in the mood? I would have killed for that. I still would. I'd kick you out of this moving car right now. If it meant I could go to college. <laughs> We're here. Get the heck out of my car. And lots of really deranged crying here, because drunk... Oh gosh, let me help you in. There's definitely something going on with B. There you go. I'm sorry, BMMS. You know, whatever. It's not your fault. You're just a kid. I'm older than you. Two months. Yeah, well, I stayed here and got older. Well, you went off and stayed the same. Wow. <sighs> Good night, Mayday. <gasps> oh, there's there's so much here. Oh my gosh, because there is this sense that B had to grow up and she didn't want to. And May went off and some and realized she didn't have the tools she needed to succeed, something. So, now we are here, in our first dream sequence. I would assume it's a dream. <laughs> Cause, uh, uh, her running around with the baseball bat doesn't feel like the best idea. Well, so, okay. Okay, so here's some light. And, oh boy. Thurkelsberg. Good. Um, if you want to have fun with some letters. You can, uh, break these. Spell some fun words. But that's fine. Up to you. The nice thing is, like... Um, you don't really have to, uh, you don't have to mess with this if you don't want to. It's just, you can break whatever you want. I don't think it actually affects the story in any way. But, it's fun. It's fun to smash things, right? The 
The music here is so good. Um, a lot of the dream sequences honestly have the best music. This is actually the least best of all of them, but that's okay. Least best means worst. Gosh frickin'. <laughs> There's a word for that. Can't get on that trash can, it appears, but that's okay. We're, we're still attempting. Come on. Come on now. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot you can hit trash cans. That's my problem. You can also hit cars. I don't actually know what the people's theories are with these. Because it's kind of revealed a little bit later. Kind of where these came from, but I'm sure there's a lot of symbolism that people look through and really analyze and Sometimes I'm just here for the ride. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's shaking over here. Oh, okay. I can get back up. Great more. Break everything! And that's just it. Part two, Weird Autumn. Well. Here we are, new day. Well, I think we're good to keep going. So we're just gonna keep going. Well, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Ugh. I'm gonna burn this room down. With me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Oh, we got a new journal entry. Thought, never drink again or go in public. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything feels bad. Become a fire ghost and yell at people. Thanks, May. I still. This one is so good. Uh, uh, that one's my favorite. Um, so let's see what people have to say. So we've got, I believe, B is talking and Angus. Hey. Sorry about last night. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day, if you want to stop by. Hey dude! You okay? Last night was pretty intense. B said you're okay. I'm a snack- I'm, I'm a snack falcon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'm a snack falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, Gregory. P.S. Band Jam Leader, OMG. The end. I do have to give Greg credit. He spelled sincerely right. It's not easy. Unnecessary and sincerely are so hard to spell. <laughs> Thank you. Can't resist. It's fine. It's fine. Always gotta hit charcoal. Every time. So nothing else to examine here. So let's go down and see what's up. So this can be afternoon, us. Oh yeah, she's been like sleeping all day. Gosh, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now. Since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. Wonder how old this thing is. Okay. Um Oh, bird. Sup, bird. Okay. This bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost. Like, his skeleton. Ugh, okay, I just made myself sad. <laughs> Why did I come over here? 
Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. Is this like... What is this? Thought, come back to life, granddad. G-dad. Rip. Um, from what I remember, I do have to give this game credit. So usually when you are given something like that, you're like, oh frick, I have to write this down and remember it. No, now that you've gotten that text, it, it automatically saves and will come into play when you need it. Oh yeah, let's see. Where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. The floating island and other stories. Granddad didn't read out of this. He, like, recited it from memory. And made stuff up on top of that. To get me to sleep when I was a kid. Miss you, dude. Oh, is there more? The flo Oh, floating island. Jeez, I'm old. Okay, okay. So, from what I remember, that combination is for that safe. So, but we obviously can't move that yet. Which is fine. It's fine. It's how it goes. Honestly, this game is like almost resource management, but not really. It's just remembering to do all of the things before plot moves forward. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Always have to have the conversation with mom in the morning. It's best. It's the best. Hey, hun, you look like crap. Thanks. Wow. Okay. Yep. Rough night. Um, isn't that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. If you want to talk about it. Uh, I saw Cole at a party in the woods from senior year. Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Uh, kind of, sort of, I don't know. Well, he's a jerk, hun. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town center. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines... Great. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. I mean... Psh, they never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. Because <laughs> terrible is an adjective. It's fine. So what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and V are up to. You all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No. God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Let's see what weird journal entry we got this time. Eh, the cops. Okay. <laughs> sure. Ah, uh, sure. I love... I love how she's like, I'm absolutely just gonna keep doing this thing, it's fine. Anything else? What you reading? Book about a guy who grew up secretly living on a fishing ship. Living in a barrel, eating raw fish, crabs, octopus, squid, lobster, gulls, albatross. Wow. Sharks, dolphins, sea cucumbers, seaweed, sand, rocks, kelp, but that's the same as seaweed, I think. Does she keep going? Rope sails one of the- Why was he eating rope sails one of the boats? He ate one of the boats? The rigging, sailor shoes, sailor hats, sailor pants, sailor shirts, sailor underwear clean. 
gonna keep going? Fishing line, fishing nets. I hope this man is not eating these things. Oh my gosh. Fishing poles. Jeez, he was well fed. He ate an entire boat. Several dugongs? I don't know what that is. Anyway. Oh, and a manatee. Which are different, you know. I did know that. And that's a list of everything he ate. He ate a boat. How do you eat fishing like- No, May. Talk about the boat. The crew thought the boat was haunted. But nope, just the barrel boy. What's the book called? Barrel boy. Oddly enough, I know I want fish sticks. I now want fish sticks. Gosh freaking, it's fine. I know, right? I'll have to bring your father some home. I'll have your father bring some home. I usually don't have a hard time reading. It's fine. Have a nice day, sweetie. Okay, that's it. He ate a boat. Okay, game. You're not just gonna... Okay, alright. Alright. So, um, what that was actually saying... Oh, no, not this way. Maybe? No. Oh, right. Okay. So there's never anything that way, but we did see some construction on the steps. So we do actually have another area opened up, from what I remember. But first, Selmers. Hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh yeah, doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one too. Okay, did you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Fan Panther Pharmacy. Uh, that feels like you need more than journaling, but okay. Oh, geez. So Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope, rehabbing the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. <gasps> Wanna hear one? Yes. Y yes, always. Always hear Selmer's poems. My heart is a dankness. But when I see you, I feel a dankness. <laughs> wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. It's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. <sighs> Ta-da! It's Selmers, a poet. Ugh, so good. And yes, talking to Selmers every day gives you like a new poem and it's great. It's wonderful. And they are just like that all the time. Oh, Mr. Chazikov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his dang neck. You know it. Let's go. This is where it starts to open up and really allow you to interact with the characters. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. <sighs> Good. So you do have to triple jump up here. Um, I have to remember the best way to get up there. Because you can't triple jump off um, the wire because you can't run. But I believe... Oh boy. Nope, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Go. Abort. Abort. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Because what we actually need to do is get up here. Oh gosh. And there we go. Hello. May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm going to call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I am glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. <laughs> dusk stars is the name of my shoegaze band. Really? No. It is music of looking at shoes. With a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Heck yeah, I do. Excellent! Holy crap, my eyes! <laughs> Spoiler alert, May does that every time. And it's funny every time. Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. 
The sun is bright, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did. And now we can go around. And what we're looking for is a star. So that means we're getting close. Is it that one? Yeah. And it's like set pattern of which ones you find, I believe. Because you could have found others, but I think it does it in a certain order. Found one. Let me have a look. Oh. Ah, yes. Dor the murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Dor passed burn the king's procession on the street. Dor was quiet and said nothing, and the king to took offense to this. Um. Why? Royalty is strange. So what happened? Burn insulted Dor, Dor's family, Dor's village, and so on. Until he was down to insulting Dor's chickens. Ah, uh, chickens are kind of awful. <laughs> Weird, horrible, angry dinosaurs. <laughs> they peck each other's eyes out. They are delicious. They deserve to be delicious. Dor first murdered Burn's chickens. Then his ancestral village. Then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Burn, the king was silent. I'm going to get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dora a hero? I don't know. But it doesn't really matter, I think? Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> and then, is there another one? Looks like it, because it didn't stop. So all of these are essentially just, just a lot of flavor text. Um... And I, there's a little side story about the constellations. Is it this one or this one? So as you can see, there were two there, but this is the one that it made me actually do. Found one, I think? Let me have a look. Ah, yes, Castus. Um, what's Castus? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Well, screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Dang straight. Oh, will you never die as well? <laughs> never. <laughs> Defy Castus' gods also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins. For things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh, really? They come and go so fast. That was pretty great. We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> and then I do believe we get journal entries, so we got Doran Castus. And um, from what I remember, he is right when he says two days time, because essentially this is in days, so he won't necessarily be the, there the next time we sleep, but the time after. So that's just one of the optional things you can do. I personally really enjoy Dr. Chaskov. Mr. Mr. Chaskov. I don't know why I keep calling him doctor. I don't think he's a doctor. He could be an astrologist, like a doctor, like, but I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. So these were the stairs that weren't unlocked. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs is open for business. Wonder what's going on up there. So we do have a new area to go explore. And here's the church. And yes, we can go in it. I'm just gonna go a little bit farther just in case. Oh, I got a new journal entry for it. Statue. Spooky. And then, so they've got the church, Pastor K.W. Young, Sunday services. All are welcome, bingo. Transform. Why did I say farm? It's form. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see if there's anything out here. Yes, there is. 
Oh. So, we don't know them yet. And I had to look up his story because his story doesn't really have an ending. So, he's just homeless out here and she's... We'll, we'll meet her. Oh, we can talk to her. Hey! Hey! You're Candy Borowski's daughter, right? Yep, who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. That's like, way more syllables. You're new here, right? 16 months? Something like that? Oh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey. Hey. Bruce is new to our community. Do you live in the woods? Yep. But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they're bigger than city council. Still thinks it's a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbor would be easy. And you are our actual neighbor. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at the church sometime. I will. I'll be up to m visit my mom anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. May. May Borowski. Bruce. Just Bruce. Pastor. Pastor Kate. I... like... Ah, uh, it's so good. I... I love... I love this character arc a lot, so hopefully I'll be able to go through it because, um, you know, I feel like there have been way too many religions that have just been not doing good for the people, like, they're super judgmental, but I love the religion here in this game because it's like you have May's mom, and she's a sweetheart, and Pastor Kate, who really wants to do good for this homeless guy. And there's May's mom. Hey, hon. Hey, mom. Wow, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Yeah, and a homeless guy. Oh, okay. The man across the street? Yeah, Bruce. Oh, well, that's nice of her. Going to see him. They both seem pretty nice. We're all just a pack of nice up here. Uh, so how's church working? Good, answering the phone. Entering data of various sorts. I'm trying to get everything into one unified app thing. You know, they make programs just for church administration. I didn't. I was watching online tutorials for the one we just got. But I just got distracted by true crime videos. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> Mom, I do declare, you are slacking off at work. God will forgive me. Aw. Alright, sweetie, I better work. It's just so sweet. And then, there is a way to get in here. I don't 100% remember it, which is fine. Cool. So let's just keep moving. But, yeah, no, literally, this game is just, you choose how much you want to explore. We didn't have to do any of that to progress plot. Because, really, what you want to see is what you want to see. Technically, we can also go down here if we want. There is... Uh, the, the fisherman! <laughs> Many miners, old and young, with home and heart and cold and lung, were taken by the trolleyman. Up to the mine and back again. But mudslide, flood, and awful storm have given tunnel fishes whole worm. Worm? Please stop listening. <laughs> I forgot where that came from. Honey, I'm horm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like the pierogi stand. 
Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. I just... Yeah, there's a lot of poetry in this game. It's fine. Delicious pretzels. Okay. So, here's another... Oh, hello, May. Um, do I know you? I don't know if you remember me, Miss Rosa? Hmm. I knew your grandfather. I visited you the day after you were born. You were so small. I guess some things don't change, eh? How did you know Granddad? I'm here most days, why don't you stop by sometime? And I'll tell you all about him? Things you might not know. Alright, you've got my interest. Sweet, curious child. So she's another person that you can talk to. I don't know if I'll talk to her. I'm not sure. Her stuff's just a lot of talking. Uh, amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Oh, and then... Oh. Nuke Possum. Is vandalized. Dang shame. This was a historical note. Without it, I don't know if we can justify keeping this place open. Uh, that's sad that this this mural is the only reason, but Ah, uh, it's such a weird thing being in this oh, let's see we can examine this. Holy crap. The dudes. Someone hacked up the dudes. Who did this? Why did they do it? New Possum Springs. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. <gasps> oh, every time there's a new character, I'm so excited. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. Oh, that's stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. <coughs> Excuse. Okay. I guess... Germ? He's also a very fun character. Like... There's so much side stuff. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. What? I saw a rabid possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? Nah, just rabid. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. Wow. It was like... a poem. Okay. <laughs> so, the whole thing with Germ is that sometimes you just talk to him. The conversation never really flows. But there's, there's more to him than just weird conversations. And it's great. It's wonderful. And they're still talking about sports. Ugh. It's fine. Um, I need to see, I need to remember, oh my gosh, okay, just a sec, I gotta do the triple jump. <laughs> there we go. Um, I need to remember where if potentially Lori M, oh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 hi, what's up? Now here's a man who loves statues. Don't get a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're secure in ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. Oh, you got more? If I got a statue, I'd have them make me real tall. Okay. Alright, alright, May. You do, you do, you. Let's see. Oh, yep. Hey. What are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? 
Rain coming. Nah, it hasn't rained since I got back. Dry year. What? We just had that big howler a week ago. Oh, wasn't here for that. Well, it must have not happened then. Wait, is there more? No? Okay. There's just, you know, NPCs that exist. Like you do. Okay, so I don't think there's anything up there. Hello, random cat. Oh, what can we examine here? So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. Oh, more? No one could survive their arm just falling off. Or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is this still called assault if you chop an arm off? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You are under arrest for arm choppy. Oh, more? Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Oof. There's definitely some, uh, morbid humor. Could hike out to the abandoned food donkey. I'm not going to hike out to the abandoned food donkey. Um... Okay. There are some cases where you do go out there, so... Again, it's, it's just worth it to explore. So, we can... Talk to Greg. Maybe he has cups on his arms? On his... No, no cups. Okay, that's fine. Well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How are you feeling? I was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town. And I don't know, that helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? Uh, it's just stopping in, gonna roll out. Later, bruh. So, talking to Greg and doing band practice progresses the plot. So we did say that we could talk to B, and then I want to see if Lori M is... What the? What? No. No, 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 no. Possibilities is gone. No more pizza delivery. No more Big Sal. No more special birthdays. This is the worst thing that's happened to this town. Since the flood that took out... Mini golf ice cream place. Summer nights. Eating ice cream. Playing some putt-putt. All washed away. I am so freaking depressed right now. Thank you for your... Yep. Oh, what the? Hey. Whoa, hey. You got like the same shirt. But like opposites. Oh wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it like a band or something? No, I made it in home ec back in high school. I just liked the symbol. It's an old symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's Wrestling League. Whoa, what's that? Backyard wrestling? Whoa. Where does it happen? All over the place. Backyards, you know? How did I not know about this? It's secret, because illegal, I think. And people go to the hospital and stuff. That is awesome. This is awesome. It's awesome. Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you there sometime. Nothing? Yeah, just flavor text. Hi! Wonder if Angus is here. Oh, lo and behold, he is. Hey, May. Hey, Angus, how's it going? You were like the third person I've seen today. I know you've explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. You growl real good. Thanks, I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. I think I cried non non-stop until I was like nine. That's a mood. And then I cried all the time again starting at like 13. Still a mood? You had a good three years of not crying in there. They were really productive years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I still need to get onto a roof, because that's where Lori M is for some reason. It's fine. I don't I don't know why she's on a roof. It's just it's just how she be. It's fine. 
But I never remember which screen she's on. <laughs> I've never been to war. Not like the recruiter didn't try, though. Hard. Oh, is there more? Hi. What's up? Like ten guys from my high school class went off to the army. Gotta afford college some way or another. That's... yeah. So that... the pickaxe is where... B is. So, I mean, let's go in and see. <laughs> this guy. How's it going, dude? Got a job here, that's cool. Oh, nice! Actually, I'm lying, it sucks. Oh, jeez. I had no idea there were so many kinds of hammers. And wrenches. And nails. My gosh, the nails. Poor guy. Hey, B. Yo. Sorry about last night. I get woozy on cold medicine. So I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much. So whatevs. Hooray for alcohol. Newtown motto. Band practice later? Haha, <laughs> yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We were barely even a band in high school. Eh, it's fun. Get to hang out with Angus. How did you even end up doing it? When Casey left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad. So I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer. It's a laptop, B. Sure is, May. Sure is. Anything else? I'll see you later. I got some work to do. Okay. There's definitely- that relationship definitely feels better, but I just- I'm kind of stuck on the- I'm gonna- I would kill to go to college. And they're having their- I can puke on command. This is just sad. They- the fact you have to puke to get out of work is just so sad. Oh yeah, so she's gonna puke to go out- to be able to go to the Ham Panther job interview. It's sad, man. So sad. Like, it's too real, but it's too sad. <laughs> okay, so I can get up here. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm remembering some stuff. Um, for one, I don't know if you saw that open window. Moriam's up there! Mmm, but first, open window, I guess? I have to be careful, because, um, yeah, is that good? That's good, okay. So this is just more side stuff. Oh. Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade, it was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Blooming blooming grow snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans then they cancelled the parade cowards they couldn't cage Mallard Mallard needed to be free and neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back I wonder what happened to both of them after the parade got canned there wasn't much going on in the spring but we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church and ate special pretzels we didn't bother to bless those profane pretzels Oh my gosh, these flowers are fake as heck. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Um, it's locked. What the heck? That is a fire hazard. Oh my gosh! Mallard! What have they done to you? Mallard forever. Honey, I'm home. I'm gonna laugh every time. It's so good. Mallard P. Blumingro. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Oh, is there more? Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And I still- uh, And still a springtime terror. More? I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Lo and behold, um, you can also- 
Now are you pregnant? It's one of those God things. Like when you have a baby because God? Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Something else. Something else. Miracle rats. Ugh, so, yet again, this is another extra thing that you can do. Um, it's also kind of not my favorite. We'll see. Really, a lot of the side things are for journal entries and um, just kind of painting the story. Okay, let's see if I can make it. No, I have to go a different way. Oh, frick. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Ugh, okay. Wait, can I? I don't think, oh, that is. It's the one disadvantage is that I still cannot tell what is hoppable and what's not. But Loriam, I'm here for you. You can't quite make this jump. You can stand on that though. Hey. Hey, it's you. It's me. I'm gonna sit. Legs are killing me. Yeah, it's a hike to get up here, right? I'm just getting old. 20 years. You're like all the way old. How old are you? 15 in February. I used to hang out here after school. Really? Most kids don't come all the way up here. <laughs> That's why it's so nice. Better than being at home. Where do you live? Chestnut Street. Oh, okay, out by the tracks. Yeah, guess I'm not really town. I'm like, tracks. I live down on Maple. Oh, the rich neighborhood. What? 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 Oh, sorry. I just meant it's nice. <sighs> Never mind, it's okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, calm down. I'm sorry, I get all weird sometimes, I'm sorry. I'll forgive you if you stop apologizing. Okay. The tracks are cool. Haven't been out there in a while. The train shakes my room at night. Yeah, in the winter I can hear it. One of my favorite noises. Well, you don't have to wake up with... bits of ceiling on you. Good point. Alright. I'm out. It was nice chatting. I'm here most days. Cool. See you later. See ya, killer. Ugh. You see someone messed up Ah, uh, well, that's a question. You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. What? I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, a whole town full of suspects. Yeah. I just... Oh, there is... There's something going on with Loriam, man. I like Loriam. There... I just... I feel that. Where stuff's, like, not quite right. Can I make it up there? Yeah, so like I said, you can't quite make that jump. It's fine. Sometimes I struggle to do the triple jump. Not because it's hard, but because I don't have enough space. But it's fine most of the time. And again, you really can get, like, anywhere. Because I think... You can stand on the- oh, maybe not. I thought you could stand on that roof too, but... So if you triple jump, I think you can make it, and then you can also... Oh my gosh, okay. Ugh. Ugh. No, that's fine. I can't get up to that roof right now, it's fine. I mean, I can. I just need to be smarter, and I'm not. Okay. So. Um, what else have we got to do? I think... I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not. Okay, no. Good. I was worried for a second. So, if you heard me say, Oh, I think those rats were hungry. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. 
Okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. So... Oh my gosh, I'm... Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous too! So... If you see the eye... Um... If it's looking over all the way to the left, you cannot pull. Honestly, it's just better to go slow and steady. I'm gonna wait. Don't get greedy. I am the bandit queen. Okay, so now I have a pretzel. And now we have to get back all the way up to the roof. It's fine. It's fine. Good. Back in there. Okay. The only disadvantage to this game also is that sometimes you just have to go roundabout ways. There's not really fast ways to do things, which is fine. It happens. Also, it makes you open the window every time. So, there's that. Uh, it's fine. Sometimes it feels like busy work, other times it's like characterization of May or Lori M. Germ, the stuff with germ is great, and I love it every time. All right, my little miracle rats, time to eat. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now? I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. That's a mood. Okay. And so, um, I don't know if we can get out because it's locked. So, that's the thing now, is that, so every day, well not necessarily every day, so we have Rosa who's going to be there most days, you have Lori M who's going to be there most days, Dr. Chazikov, Dr. Every time, Mr. Chazikov who's not gonna be there tomorrow, but will be there the next day. A lot to keep track. And that's why it's up to you how much you wanna do, because all of this stuff is optional. You don't have to do it. Because next step, I think, it's time to end the day and go to band practice. So, let's get over there. And this is going to be it. So, in the next episode, we will go to band practice and continue the plot. Again, there is just so much side stuff, and it's up to you how much you want to do. I have a general gist of how much there is, and my favorites are stuff with Germ and Lori M. The rats and Rosa are okay. They're just not my favorite. But, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you next time. Bye!